When I began my research study on the effect of whey protein concentrate in mice, that's the animal we were using for, I did not expect to stumble on the role of glutathione. What we did, in fact, we observed accidentally that mice eating this type of protein were able to mount a stronger immune response when challenged with bacteria, antigen, or cancer. But then, later on, we observed that these animals, in fact, were able to synthesize glutathione more effectively than the control animal. And then, of course, we had to find out what was the role of glutathione, and that we took advantage of the enormous and abundant uh, data from the medical literature on the function of glutathione. Now, with all this uh, research being done in glutathione, all these thousands of articles that are coming out, people still ask the question, why can't I just eat glutathione? In fact, you can't eat glutathione. What happens when you eat glutathione? It gets broken down in your digestive tract, and it ends up being passed. The only way to raise glutathione in your body is to eat the building blocks for your body to manufacture glutathione. We call these building blocks precursors. All that Immunocal does is supply your body with the precursors to make glutathione. A person can, uh, in the uh, comfort of his own home, uh, take a package of this product, uh, mix it up, and uh, ingest it. And once you eat the Immunocal, it enters uh, your digestive tract. It's uh, safely passed into your intestine. It's very easily absorbed. Once it's absorbed, it gets picked up in your bloodstream and it is the uh, building blocks of precursors that are traveling through your bloodstream. Uh, when these precursors get to your cells, uh, there are certain amino acids that are released into the cell, and the cell itself starts to manufacture glutathione. I have one case of a 48-year-old female with renal cell carcinoma, and it was at the point in, the, in her life, basically, that the oncologist had said, you know, there's something we can do for you, but really not very much, and the and the percentages of survival are pretty thin. And they'd given her several choices. And so I came in contact with this patient, and we put her on uh, Immunocal aggressively, on Immunocal uh, two packs four times a day. And um, we also did what we thought was important for her lifestyle changes. And I can say that from that time that we started, uh, we began to see her uh, energy return and her a general feeling of well-being uh, almost immediately improve and then following that over a period of years now it's been several years we have had cat scan evidence of the um, primary metastatic sites to actually resolve on with no other chemotherapy or irradiation just on immunocal and, and lifestyle to resolve where now we have and by the way the metastasis went to the liver and the lungs and up the lymph nodes in the neck and um, we've seen those uh, diminish where all of the pulmonary nodules secondary to this metastasis in the lungs are gone. The major tumors in the liver are gone except one, and that's been shrinking. And all the adenopathy is resolved in, in the neck and the and lymph nodes in the neck. So we've been excited about that. And of course, she's been really excited about it because from a person who had been given seven weeks to six months to live, um, that's been met several years ago now. She's still going strong and uh, enjoying life. So those are the kind of things that we've seen with Immunocal. You know, after 20 years of being very concerned in the wellness industry, concerned about what the individual could do for their own self-protection, in fact, even after going through medical school and being involved in medical practice, I had never had this particular idea go through my mind of the individual cell protecting itself. See, each particular cell in the body is trying to protect itself for its own health. The cell on the face is protecting itself against an ultraviolet ray when you're sunbathing. A cell in the gut is protecting itself from a carcinogen that gets into the diet. Every cell in the body is protecting itself on a daily basis. And in order to do that, this cell has its own defensive mechanism. And that's where glutathione is so important. It's the cell's principal defensive molecule in its own defense. And what Dr. Bonus was able to do was to allow us to take an action step, to do something to enable the cell, to facilitate the cell, being able to make more glutathione in its own protection. And by being able to do that, I think he has started a revolution. A physician who's been in actual medical practice for just this side of 40 years, uh, I've had many opportunities to observe metabolic problems uh, manifested through the aging process of many of my patients. And 
Immunical offers us a chance to reverse some of those, some of the ravages of time, and uh, actually see uh, improvements that I have never witnessed before. We have done research on this product over the number of years. We've uh, subjected it to a high degree of scrutiny from other institutions, other investigators. Other companies, uh, of course, don't subject their products to this. Uh, they have a great deal of difficulty in terms of describing the mechanism of action. And uh, a very important part or component of research when you go and meet with these institutions is being able to describe the mechanism, having the scientific research to back up what you say. And this is uh, one thing that Immunitech possesses. Science has known about glutathione even since the late 1800s. And we knew a few things about it. We knew about its importance in the function of the lens of the eye. But after Dr. Bunos' work, the whole study of glutathione really exploded. Uh, last time I checked online, there's over 80,000 articles written on glutathione. So we can say a lot about glutathione, but if we wanted to summarize the three most important things that glutathione does in your body, we would use the acronym AID, A-I-D. A stands for antioxidant, and pretty much everybody knows the importance of antioxidant. Glutathione has been referred to, literally, as the master antioxidant. All the other antioxidants that you may have heard of, and many that you haven't heard of, none of these can function without the presence of glutathione. Now let's move on to I for the immune system. Again, if you look at the literature, certain authors refer to glutathione literally as fuel or food for the immune system. If you start running low on glutathione, then your ability to fight off certain threats becomes quite blunted. And finally, D, for detoxification. When I speak to the general public, I'll tell them that next to water, next to water, there's no more important detoxification system than glutathione. A good example of oxidative stress that everybody understands is that if you get a, a piece of metal and you take the protective coating off a of metal, that metal oxidizes. And pretty soon, if you leave that alone, that metal will get rusted and it'll bore a hole right through that metal. Or if you get a brand new apple and you take the peel off that apple, oxidative stress occurs, that apple will turn brown. Well, if you come back a week later, that apple will be a little bit mushier. If you come back in a month later, there may not be an apple there. And so that's all mediated by free radical damage, what we call oxidative stress. And these are very damaging substances which can destroy uh, cell components in a matter of microseconds. So it's very important then that these be quenched or neutralized right away. And this is the role, one of the important roles of glutathione. To have a food product, which I think is the most important development that we've offered to people in their health, their wellness issue, probably since penicillin. So 60 years. And I don't say that lightly, because I think it's very exciting to retool or help the body do its own healing. Because that's almost always, including intensive care, what we're able to offer. We offer support systems until the body heals itself. Now we're providing it with extra building blocks. The way it operates as a detoxifier, it links with the poison through an enzyme called conjugase and when they are linked together the poison becomes soluble and if a poison is soluble it's no longer poison it, it leaves the body through the urine for example lead, cadmium and, uh, and all sorts of carcinogen. We would raise glutathione levels in an emergency setting in people who are suffering from certain overdoses. And what the uh, glutathione would do in that case is allow the person to get rid of these toxins themselves from their body. Now, I knew that this was good in acetaminophen overdose, but what most people don't understand is that glutathione is also critical for getting rid of heavy metals like mercury, like lead, like pesticides, like herbicides, like the breakdown products of cigarette smoke and automobile exhaust and a dozen other well-recognized carcinogens in our environment. One of the most dramatic uh, users or changes in a, in a user uh, that I've observed is the uh, change in Mildred Wade, who's a patient of mine for many years, 
whom I've watched as a diabetic, difficult to control, and I've watched her deteriorate to the point where a uh, little more than a year ago she became confused. We had her on medication for Alzheimer's disease. She was mentally out in left field a good deal of the time. She had lost her personality. She had lost her enthusiasm. She was barely able to walk. She had become incontinent. She had, uh, she really wasn't functioning as a person anymore. But thanks to the care that her sister gave her, and also to the miracle, and I really think of it as a miracle, of Immunical, uh, Mildred has regained her mental acumen. She can carry on a good conversation. Her sense of humor is better than ever. Uh, she, except for the fact that she has some visual problems that are going to be operated upon soon, uh, her circulation in her legs is better. Her diabetes is controlled in a way that we were never able to achieve before. And she is able to ambulate. She's able to control her, her incontinence problem is, is gone. She functions. She walks into my office now. I used to make house calls on Mildred because there was no other way to see her. So in every way, I would offer Mildred as a case in point, not by any chance our only case in point, but a very dramatic and wonderful one whose uh, improvement is 95% uh, due to Immunical because of the dramatic nature of the change that she underwent after she started it. When Jim Hay approached me in the fall of 1998, he was concerned because he had been on chemotherapy for widespread or metastatic prostate cancer, and his treatment had caused him to have heart toxicity. And because of that, uh, his treatment had been discontinued, and he would have been classified as a treatment failure. And uh, he was on, left on a small dose of prednisone only because of associated inflammation of the heart muscle. He came to me hoping that I might be able to suggest some kind of alternative treatment since at that point in time, the uh, oncologist had not been able to offer him anything else. And I said to him, look, I'm going to think about possibly putting you on Immunical because of what I know about it, and I'm going to discuss it with your, your, your urologist. And I did. And the urologist said to me, uh, to my surprise pleasantly, why not? Let's try him on it. And so at that point in time, uh, having had the treatment failure, he started on Immunical, one packet per day, and he had at that time when he started a PSA of 208, and after one month his PSA dropped down to a level of 28, which in itself was amazing, but it was only one month, so we waited until the second month, and at the second month it was 11. And at that point of time we realized that we were having an amazing response. In addition to which, uh, he felt very much better, much improved. His symptoms of fatigue and of having a, uh, a depressed outlook uh, were alleviated to a great degree. He felt substantially better and was able to take his vacation in Florida, which he usually does in late fall, and to be able to look forward to enjoying it. So in other words, it turned his situation around and enabled him to have a much improved quality of life and to resume his life the way he would have liked to at that point in time. Twenty years ago, there was maybe a handful of articles done on glutathione. In uh, the last couple of years, there are over 35,000 articles written on glutathione. And the potential clinical applications are immense. Uh, there is a, a, a huge amount of work done in the field of infectious disease, including AIDS, including hepatitis. Uh, there's a very, very active teams looking at the glutathione modulation in cancer therapy, in the prevention of the side effects of chemotherapy, and even simple things like what glutathione does to the healthy person. There's a lot of research done on athletic people and, and the average person on how to avoid getting old, what we call anti-aging medicine. One question I get a lot of the times is what effect it'll have on pregnant or lactating women. In fact, I promote uh, raising glutathione very strongly in preg pregnant and lactating women. 
I'd like to tell you the day that I really became committed to the Prada. And I was at the, the Mount Sinai Hospital just across the street in Toronto. And I remember uh, both Dieter and uh, Gus telling me about Dr. Baruchel and the work that he had done and the work he had done previously at the Pasteur Institute in Paris. And I remembered that Dr. Baruchel was uh, now, I think, the head of immunological research at the hospital and a professor of medicine at the University of Toronto. And I went up to see him and I introduced myself. And he looked at me, and I will never forget that incident. He looked at me and he says, Alex, do you understand what you have in your hands? I said, Dr. Baruchel, I am not sure what you mean. He says, do you understand what Immunocal can do? And I said again, Dr. Baruchel, I am not sure what you mean. He said, well, this product is capable of changing the way that medicine is practiced around the world. 